Yo, what is Snap Cracklin and Popping, guys? I am the Storm, and I am bringing you a brand new episode of Fusion Fridays. Feels great to be bringing this series back. <coughs> I do apologize that it was not here last week. I apologize for that. Um, so if you could forgive me, that would be awesome. I understand if you can't, um, but it would mean a lot to me if you could. Like, you know, if you could just give me the benefit of the doubt. I've been working a lot, you know, trying to get a car paid for and all that happy jazz, real life stuff. Um, but this is a series that I miss doing, and I'm so glad I can bring it back. Um, it'll probably be weekly now. It'll probably definitely be weekly now, um, since, you know, I'm not going to be doing Let's Plays as much unless they're, like, co-ops or, um, live streams, if that, you know, is something that we decide to do. Um, but I want to do more videos that are unique, that are, you know, me, not just a video game that you've seen a thousand times done slightly different than everybody else and you know you guys are interested in it at first and then the support just kind of dies out towards the end which is what happens with let's plays uh as you get in deeper you know nobody wants to watch them anymore uh that's just the that's just the fact of it but kicking us off this week uh is our welcome back week i picked a lot of good fusions for this one i think i like every single one of them in here i think they're all fucking awesome but kicking us off this week is gonna be roser Rosar Zerus. Rosar Zerus. Yeah. It's a fusion of Mega Aerodactyl, Roserade, and Charizard. Pardon that Skype notification. Mega Charizard Y, not just normal Charizard. The first second I looked at this, I immediately thought of Alduin from Elder Scrolls Skyrim. If you've ever played it, you know exactly who I'm talking about. It honestly, this is exactly the first thing I thought when I saw this thing. I was like, that looks like an actual dragon. And it, the funny thing is it's not even dragon typing. I would just say this could be like pure dragon just based off of its look. But they're saying a poison fire and flying, which I could go with. Because, you know, like uh, even a poison flying, we don't have... Do we have a poison flying type? I don't... Beedrill. Is Beedrill poison flying? It might be. But, you know, like an actual poison flying type. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, but, you know, you can go the tr uh, try typing if you want. It's up to you, honestly. He's only 11 foot tall, only. It's only about close to double me. And he weighs 740 pounds. Pfft. I can beat this guy in an eating contest, no problem. I got the weight advantage on him. Special ability, rage mode. Signature move is a triple backflip. I don't know how I feel about that move, but, you know, he made it. I mean, it looks awesome. I give him that, but triple backflip, I mean, a little bit better. Just, just, just in my opinion. For his signature move, we could have done a little bit better than triple backflip. It's just my opinion. Don't shoot me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. Don't don't shoot me. Anyway, moving on is what is one of my absolute favorite fusions to date. Mega Silgardia. If you don't know what it is by the name uh, or the picture, I mean, as soon as I saw this, I kind of knew what it was. But it is a fusion of Mega Deancey, Gardevoir. And Sylveon. And this thing looks so awesome. This thing is amazing. It just looks like the pure definition of fairy. They're saying it's a rock fairy and psychic. I'm just going to call it a fairy and psychic because I like that typing. And, I mean, it doesn't really seem like as much rock as, you know, DNC did. The only reason I think they're saying rock is since it is fused with DNC and does have the little diamond on her head. But, you know, I think this thing is absolutely brilliant. And it's 5'7", which is, like, you know, a humanish height. And its special ability is Heartthrob. The signature move is Crystal Panic. See, that's a lot better than Triple Backflip, just so we're clear. Just so we are clear. Muchos better than triple backflip. Muchos. Muchos. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the fusions and leave a like if you are excited for this to be back. I know I should have probably said that at the beginning of the video, but anyway, if you are, uh, you know, hyped for this to be a weekly series now and, you know, for me to bring more stuff to you like this, then do hit that like button and do leave a comment down below. Let me know which fusion of this episode was your favorite. Let me know. I think this one might be my favorite, or maybe even the one before this one, because the one before that one was fucking awesome. I'm just kidding. The one I'm going to show you next is my all-time favorite. It's one of my all-time favorite fusions of all fucking time. It's, like, just, it's perfect, okay? It's it's perfect. Mega Tablazot. Mega Pidgeot. Fused with Mega Blaziken. Fused with Talonflame. 
This thing is so damn powerful. It is unreal. Look at this thing. And it's only seven foot tall. It looks like it'd be way taller than seven foot. I actually really want to see a Pokemon like this. Uh, it's a firefighting and flying type. I mean, just just look at this thing. Like, my lord. It is so powerful. It is, like, so powerful. On a whole new level of powerful, you know? Like I said, we are back with a bang this week. You know, I'm bringing you nothing but the best fusions. At least I'm trying to. I mean, I hope I am. I hope I'm bringing you guys good fusions this week. I like them. I love all the ones this week. Weighs about 128 pounds. Man, this thing could be me if it's just a little bit shorter. I mean, I weigh a little bit more than 128 pounds, but, I mean, not a whole lot. Special ability is Flare Wings. Signature move is Phoenix Barrage, since it is, like, a fucking fighting phoenix, but it's just so badass. And they went with the fucking red and black look, just like I was hoping they would, because the red and black look is absolutely fantastic and i think that's what blaziken shiny should have been since day one but no we go with you know the same color that he always is game freak logic moving on we have gen ogre steel water type combination of genesect and kyogre this thing absolutely looks powerful it is like a mech kyogre and it's a steel water type, which is perfect. Special ability downpour. Signature move, Poseidon's Cannon. Wait, it only weighs 1,587 pounds, guys. Only weighs 1,587 pounds. Only. That's like fat, you know? And it's only 16 foot tall, so don't worry about it. But this thing just looks like an awesome mech Kyogre, and it's... I like it. I honestly think it looks sick. This thing looks sweet. It looks incredible. And if you guys don't think so, I'm sorry. But, I mean, I like this one. I mean, I know some people might be a little bit skeptical, but I think it looks fantastic. And you guys are more than welcome to leave your feedback down below in the description. Not the description, in the comments section. Anyways, moving on to our final fusion of this episode A... We have Ghost Seizong, I guess is that how you would pronounce that. They're saying it's a ghost, steel, and flying type. I think it should just be a ghost and steel type. Just my opinion. It's 10 feet tall and weighs 989 pounds. Special ability is Adamantium Armor. Adamantium armor and its signature move is rocket punch. That makes sense since you don't like Kohler. Doesn't he do that thing where he like throws his fist and punches people? Can't he do that? I'm pretty sure he can do that. That should actually be a move. We should actually have that in like real Pokemon, like real life, like IRL. Yeah. You know, we can talk like 13 year old white girls now and we can, you know, have a party. No? Okay, fine. Anyways, that is going to wrap it up. I kind of, uh, I'm a little bit skeptical about this one. You know, it looks cool. It looks fine. It's just, Sigalith kind of doesn't do that much. But, you know, that's, it's fine. It's fine. It's still Bronzong, Golurk, and Sigalith fuse together. I think Bronzong, Golurk in general just fuse together. It looks awesome. But if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please do leave a like down below. Spread this with your friends if you think they'd like seeing some of these fusions together. If you'd like... If you think they'd like awesome fusion videos in general. Or if you just think that, you know, they'd like my Pokemon content that I'm going to be bringing to you guys. If you guys do like my content and you are new here, please do feel free to hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely amazing if you do. And it, you know, just puts a huge smile on my face, obviously. But I really hope you guys did enjoy. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Have a great rest of your day or night. Probably night when this is going up. So have a great rest of your night, guys. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.